Welcome to my channel. I'm Patty. Today I'm going to be doing a southwestern uh, color pour, pearl pour. And I'm trying to get the pearls down where I have no trouble getting the pearls, but I have a problem keeping the pearls nice and round and distinct. So um, I changed my recipe up a little bit. So let me tell you how I did that. So I took a little a little, I don't know how many ounces, I think this is a two ounce little shot cup I got at Dollar Store. And I did this, I put two of these cups, two parts Artist Loft White, right here. One part, one of these cups of the Bare Satin Enamel from Home Depot and two of these cups full of Liquitex pouring medium. So I put that in a cup, stirred it up, and then I put three quarters of a cup of water, a little bit at a time to mix it up, where if you hold it like four inches above, the paint sinks into the cup. Okay, it's very fluid. So that is about as accurate as I can get with that. My colors today. <clears throat> First color is Bright Aqua Green from Basics. And holding it about the same height, it pretty much sinks in also. I think it may be a tiny bit thicker, just a tiny bit. And the orange, the same. So on this mixture, I put the paint. I didn't really measure exactly, but approximately one part paint to one part Liquitex pouring medium to about a quarter part Floetrol and then water. Now that depends on how thick your paints are. These paints are pretty thick. And so are, so is the Creative Inspirations. So this is Creative Inspirations Cadmium Orange Hue. And then the Basics um, Bright Aqua Green. So if you have thinner paints, then you'll want to put less water to thin them down. But um, anyway, get them to that consistency and we'll see how that goes. So the last time my paint was a little bit thicker, it didn't sink in, and I don't know if I didn't tilt it far enough, but the, the pearls sort of were good at the beginning and then they just sort of spread out and just the edges were good, the middle was messed up. So let's give it another shot. Um, this is a 12 by 12 canvas, level two. Got my pins on the back, tape, now these pens and a lot of the materials I use are down in my Amazon shop. So if you go down there, click it, you can shop for whatever you want. And for the next hour and a half, I'll get a little bit of credit um, at no extra cost to you. So go ahead and shop away. Check out my social sites, push the notification bell. So that way you'll get, get notified when I upload my next video. And a lot of you watching right now, haven't subscribed. Um, over half the people that watch my videos aren't subscribers. And, you know, go ahead and push it. It really helps me out. Um, and hopefully I'll teach you something. I think that's worth pushing that notification bell. So let's get started here. So I got about, this is a 12 by 12. I know I need about nine ounces. But I think I have about 10 ounces here. This is a 12 ounce cup, so I didn't want that to happen. But I haven't um, 
This is just a plain canvas. I haven't painted it or anything like that. So I should have about three ounces left, a couple ounces left, which you want you always want to have some paint left. So let's see. So on this, I'm not going to, that should be good. I think I'm going to not get it all over the edge, just over the edge on some parts. So I'm going to be stretching this. Okay. All right. So I think that's all I want to do when I have a couple, two or three ounces left. So if you're doing a 12 by 12, 9 ounces would be plenty. So I want to do a very minimal. I have way too much paint. I always make way too much for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the bubbles. I think I want to, I don't want to put them both in the same cup. I'm just right here in the middle, just make some kind of design. I don't know if that's enough. It's hard to judge here. Going right on the outside of this. Okay, is that enough? I don't know. I'll go ahead and put a little bit more. Okay, let me bring it down just a little bit. enough paint. You know what, I'm going to put a little more because I can always tilt it off so go ahead and come over here with it a little bit. Okay, let's see what that does. <clears throat> I'm going to start tilting. I think I'm going to go over here first. I'm going to get it off. Come over here. to see this. I think there's still too much paint on here. 
I mean, look, that little bit of paint did this. I have a few pearls coming up over here already. Okay, it's Oh, well, that's crazy. That's a crazy design. I got a lot of shadowing, which I really didn't want. I have some here, a lot there. And I'm not sure I'm not sure why. I don't know what causes that. Of course, my recipe could be totally wrong. I could have tilted too much. I don't think I did. <clears throat> All right, let's torture it. I don't mind the shadowing sometimes, like right in here, but here I have this whole area that has orange underneath, and this whole area right here that has blue that's come on underneath, and right here. So I'm not sure if that means <clears throat> I know the colors were a tiny bit, just a little bit thicker than the base, just a little bit though. So I'm not sure if the colors need to be thinner than the base to, for this not to happen, or if my recipe is just completely messed up. It's cool though, I mean, I have a lot of pearls coming up, I'm just hoping they come up all over but yet I have some color where you can see the turquoise and the orange still. Okay, I'll bring you back in about 45 minutes. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes. I think it's done. I'm loving this one. I'm glad that some of the color is still showing and that the cells didn't, the pearls didn't take over all the color. A lot of cool stuff going on. You can see the color in between the pearls. Shadowing. I even like the shadowing now on this one. So I'm hoping it dries as good as it looks now. 
I will have the dried results picture at the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. See you later. Bye.